let's make a merge cube element cube. To start your cube, you need to edit each one of these slides with the information about your assigned element. You'll then download each slide as a JPEG file. Here's how that's done. Click on the slide thumbnail, then click File and Download as JPEG. Do this for each slide in the slide deck. Next, we're going to move on over to CoSpaces. To start your cube, go to My Spaces, click Create a Space, and then select Merge Cube as the type of space. If you're a student, it's likely that you'll see an assignment that's been pushed out to you by a teacher. A blank Merge Cube will appear. You remember all those JPEG images you saved earlier? Now it's time to use them. We're going to upload them to CoSpaces by selecting Upload Images and the Upload button. When you find them in your directory, open them and they'll upload directly into CoSpaces. Here, you can drag them onto the building platform. You're going to want to do this for every single image that you created in Google Slides. Once they've been uploaded, you can stretch, rotate, and lock them into position on the queue. Here's how that's done. First, right click on the Merge Cube to unlock it, and then use the building tool to lift it off the ground so that you can see the bottom of it. We need to put an image there. Right click on one of the images and select the word attach. You'll see blue dots appear on the cube. Click the blue dot where you want the image to go, then use the builder's tool to stretch it so that it fits in the spot that you want it. And then just repeat that process on every single side. Right click, attach, click a blue dot, and then stretch the image. of yours by clicking play in the upper right hand corner. You can spin it around and see the positioning of every single image. If you want to view your creation in augmented reality, you will need a merge cube and the CoSpaces app on a tablet or device. I suggest giving it a try. It's a pretty cool experience. Good luck!